As this is a unique project um, that combines a lot of different emotions, a lot of different um, elements tonally. What drew you both to the project? And Jocko, I'll start with you. Hello, Jill. I um, was drawn to it because I'd been itching to do a comedy after all these years of doing dramas. Um, and it came along, the opportunity came along to read. Um, and with Natasha being at the helm, I've been a big fan of hers, watching her. Um, that's all it took for me. And and of course, the script was one of the funniest scripts I'd ever read, that pilot. Kaylin, what about you? Yeah, I, I want to piggyback off of that. I think Natasha is hilarious and brilliant and um, really incredibly smart and fun to watch. And then at the chemistry read, when we really got to, even though we were on Zoom, we were 3,000 miles away, we really got to get in there and muck around, you know, as actors, you know, with a capital A, and just get in there and play. And uh, I really like the heart that uh, Mel has and 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 gets cracked open, but the, what Terrence brings to the table, I, I like really connect with Karen, Terrence. So it's just, yeah. So Mel has different types of connections to both Terrence and Alex, and we see it play out in different ways. So how do you think that their characters' struggles and interactions, we'll say, without giving too much away, reflects the things that current people are going through every day in their struggle, the regular person? I feel like there's a, a lot of blurred lines when it comes to relationships, not uh, in the sense that they used the title of that song years ago, but in the sense that, you know, people are, are a little bit more afraid to make a move or commit or commit, you know, um, there's all there's just that gray area. And I feel like there's a lot of that in, in this. Um, and thankfully so, because, you know, you don't you're watching a show, you don't want it to just be smooth. Um, but uh, yeah, I think that that it, that's a, there's a, there's a lot of that happening. Yeah, I think the combination of like this post pandemic world, but also the hustle mentality, uh, people can get caught up even in big cities. You know, like like New York, people can get caught up in being surrounded by people, but still managing to be lonely. And I, I appreciate how Natasha and the show uh, highlight that there is a difference between loneliness and being lonely. And lo being lonely is not necessarily always a pejorative thing if, if you're doing the work of self-improvement and self-enlightenment. So as we see sometimes what is right in front of our face, we may not appreciate it until there's certain things to move things around on the table. So in balancing the comedic elements with some of the more heartfelt things, what was that experience like tonally as an actor? Whereas, I mean, that's the, that's the good stuff, you know what I mean? As far as I'm, I've always wanted to be a part of a a, a sort of a, an ensemble, you know, rom-com, sitcom kind of vibe, but you can't, you can't, all comedy, which is harder in my opinion than drama is based in real emotions and reality, you know? And, but if you can thread that needle and have the heart, the drama and the, the humor, man, that's the sweet spot as far as I'm concerned. That's, that's the good stuff. Um, my favorite things to do were to do the funny things and the dramas I've done, but um, much the same to, you know, this is technically a co a, a comedy, uh, but, you know, it's very dramatic, man. And we were having a lot of fun, but when, you know, when those moments come or you can just sink your teeth into something and get into them, uh, so rewarding, so rewarding. So uh, we don't get to see, too much interaction with Alex and Terrence until later, but what would you say is sort of their identity or viewpoint of the other? Well, uh, I know that Alex is a bit wary of, of <laughs> jealous, straight up, of, of Terrence. Um, there's an episode that's coming up where uh, he gets wind of um, uh, Mel having a, a, in some involvement with him, and he, he tries to act like he doesn't know his name. It's like, what's that guy's name? You were, you were with this Ted, Ted. She's like, you, you, you know his name. It's Terrence. And I just love that part. I love it. I love the jealousy. I think, yeah, there's definitely some jealousy in as much as, you know, uh, Terrence cares about Me Melissa. They're really good friends at work. Uh, we don't get to see Terrence outside of work too, uh, too much. But, and I think that if Alex and uh, Melissa were happy, Terrence would be okay with that. I think Terrence sees Alex as just like the cigarettes or the fear of flying. It's just something else in Melissa's life 
that is is not good for her, but she continues to go back to. What is something memorable that happened behind the scenes or some experience that you will take with you to your further project, to your future projects, excuse me, that happened on the set of this? Well, we've said this many times. Natasha is really good at cultivating like a family, like a friendly environment. And not every set is like that, you know? So uh, I have since strived to at least find my own little tribe on each set so that outside of work, you know, when we need to decompress a little bit, that, you know, feeds a different part of oneself so that when we go back to work and we're doing the work, we can be, you know, our cups can be full and we can get down to it and make the best product possible. Yeah, uh, Natasha's, a, and, and what I'm gathering from her, she's a multi-hyphenate, um, doing a, a lot of things, an actor, writer, uh, producer, director, and uh, I've, uh, I'm doing the same, I'm stepping into that now, but to see her do it gracefully um, without what appears to be more most um, any stress um, and to still manage to look out for people around around her, make sure that everybody's good. Um, that's what I'm uh, I've had not seen somebody do that so brilliantly yet. And I'm, I'm learning a lot.